Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. So last time we did the third chapter, right? We learned a little bit more of the story and we also saw another detective called Cabanella, right? A very, very lanky guy. So let's continue and let's do chapter four today. Yes. Chapter four, 8.23 p.m. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. No, Lin, hang in there, baby. It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of the garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, I can't allow that, pigeon man. I investigate a new superintend. Superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? Anyway, you have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair, sir. Updated the phone book. How do we check that again? You can check it later, right? Yeah, later. The pigeon man. He's very cool. He just slid there. Oh! The very suspicious doctor. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shout at me? Now, let me have a look at the victims. Okay, I haven't looked yet, but I can tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. Now we need to go back. Um, No, no, no. Uh, how do we do this again? LB. It's been quite a while since I played. Go there. Motor. Unconscious this time as well, eh? Where am I? She's coming too. What happened to me? Hey, excuse me? Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead, so I'm dead, huh? huh? Try as you might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lin, if that's any help. Lin, huh? Pretty good name. And apparently you're a detective too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and pulls justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, that kind of detective. Okay, hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Something really unusual is going to downtown or down in this town tonight. Wait, what? What's Cabanella here? Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. All right, of course. I'd be pretty heinous if I look like this. I guess, wouldn't I? I don't know if heinous is the right word. Okay, she used the other one. There, now. This is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Hmm? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Everything is so confusing. Can you do something? Okay, hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. Uh, let's, uh, about me first. I'm looking for the answers to the question, who am I and why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sizzle. Your name is Sizzle, huh? But yeah, she doesn't remember because she's dead, right? Her memory is kind of fuzzy. I think so. It, it rings some kind of bell anyway. 
I think I was killed tonight while I was uh, meeting with you. So you might at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm sorry. I don't think I, I can help you. Uh, why not? Because I don't know you. What, what do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. No way. Lynn's death. Okay. So, I died, huh? Yes, apparently I'm very sorry. So, how could this have happened, though? And after I just passed my test finally this year? My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun? And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid, the shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight about the ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? D does she remember now? Yes, I think I do remember something like that happening vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed all in black. I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. So I died twice already tonight. I wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. She's happy because she has the record of most deaths in one night. Two strangers. So, you don't know me, huh? Nope, I wish I did. So, uh, do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way, I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be out over here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can you uh, kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding, you mean... Bingo, by you. I asked you to come here? But why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out of here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. Everything is so confusing. Can you do something? Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very important to me. So even I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I am really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you though. Ask me what? I ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight, so I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all of that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? I'm certainly not gonna tr treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you, so what do you do after that is up to you. Hey, okay, thank you. So, uh, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot. Rewind time.
Lin's second death, I'm heading back in time and now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. I mean, it's better to just say the truth, right? And say, oh, I'm gonna help you. Then afterwards, you're not gonna do anything. But who killed her, though? Maybe the, uh, maybe the pigeon, man. But yeah, maybe not. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken alright? One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella is on his way, so he'll be here any minute. Oh, there he comes. Michael Jackson style. Evening, patrolman. Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir. Nice work, so now do me a little favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. Yo, how's it going? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does it matter at a time like this when my lens is in Int's crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute, did you say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I never even met the guy before. Never? Oh well. Before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see, but it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of your cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. You know, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me? You know if anything ever happened to you. But who shot her, though? I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Who's him? Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, and what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, get down. Oh, it's from the mirror. Someone far away shot her. It seems to me that a baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. I, it'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four minute game. Let's do it. You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks uh, that way, yes. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Punch, he says, with eyes gleaming. Oh boy. You can use a telephone to move around. So that's right. And I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what? They say about three strikes and you're out, right? As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. 
But the telephone thing is a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. Alright, let's go there. Okay, move. Detective. Okay, this is the same from earlier. Okay, when he when he opens the phone, I suppose. Let's go, move. Oh, hello, the chicken kitchen. You want chicken? We got your chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken or that? Uh, wait, what? Hmm, go there. Maybe we could go there. Hello? Where would you like that delivered? They hang up. Trace complete. Oh, we got a chicken kitchen, but we don't need to go here, though. What does it matter? A chicken order or two lost. If it were three orders, that would be a different story, though. La la la. I guess when someone calls, we can move again, right? Trick time. Dial. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but I don't see it now. But we came here by telephone line. Apparently in this four minutes before death world, we can only use the lines while a telephone is being used to make a call. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. I guess we'll have to start over. Yeah, we gotta go back. From the beginning. Well, let's stay here this time. Okay. What is this? They ordered me here to stand up guard over this rookie detective, Lynn. She sure is cute. They told me to call the detective outside of anything suspicious. She's so beautiful, it's criminal. Okay, that slam. Swivel it. And then... Turn on, I suppose? Oh, what did I do? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. Thought she was practicing a dance move when it came in. Nope, that's definitely suspicious, no question. I'd better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Okay, now we can do it. Trick time. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yes. What's up? I've been watching Lane just like it told me. And I noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner and in a very conspicuous way. Anything else? Um, let's see. It's pink and it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using a phone when it came in too and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later, so don't let it let on you notice anything. Okay, let's go to the other side then. Hey, look at that. The phone line is glowing red. I bet it would work if it tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective is talking to is outside a junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. Yes, go there. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Lamp. Uh, what are you? A desk lamp. That sounds like an old grandpa. Just call me Ray. 
Grandpa Ray. You just have to get the grandpa part in there or in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level a scant few times from now. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very, very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What are you saying? I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. I'll give me to go to him. Carry on, boys. Thank you, fate change. Why don't they try to fold it then? That horrible hitman's after me, or that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if he stayed down here. Alright, let's go then. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. No, no, no. I thought we were going to go to Ray. Okay, we go up here. And then here. Okay, there we go. We're up. Well, we made it. And now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. He must be around here somewhere preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time, so let's try to find him fast. I'm going to make good and sure he understands what happens to people who point a gun at others. Hey, there's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. Okay, can we... How do we move again? Okay, let's wait for him. I think we can go to the bike, right? So we can ride him. Come on, sir. Let me ride the bike. There we go. Oh, there he is. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be ahead of the Hitman division by next month and now for sure. There he is, that horrible Hitman. I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting fast. Okay. Updated the phone book. Okay, here. We need to he head here though. Open this first. And then go here turn on the light and he's gonna be seen there we put a stop to that shot at least we did it so i'm safe now right well that changed your fate a little but it didn't avert it completely we're not done yet that man is professional and he really really wants to be ahead of the division apparently i don't blocking a shot here and there is really gonna stop him if you want to rough him up a little, I promise I won't put it in my report. Alright, let's think of something else where he gets a shot in. Okay, we recovered. Now we need to ride. Hold me again. Yeah, he's right there. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the, the least bit of light. A division, uh, my division head is my ambition. So if I want to be a director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. 
And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty, scandalous rumors about him. Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? It wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay it off. I don't want to waste any electricity. Uh, everything's gotten that tight. That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us all uh, use all of our searchlight at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do at least that much, especially in a dark night like tonight. Okay, we can't use all of them. So we got one there. One here. Close this, I suppose. Oh! Wait, what can we move here? Okay, we cannot see. Time is passing. Can we move something? Crossing gate? Okay, what did it do? Lower that. I think now we need to... Okay, then let's go back there first. Come on, sir, move. What do we do then? I is gonna appear there, right? Hmm, this is quite a distance from the target. But I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems like dark. Uh, so it seems to like, I mean, dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Sizzle, get him. Hold up, when did I become or become her assistant? Okay, where is this? Okay, we need to go back first. I think we need to move that one. Okay, this up. Musings of a Hitman, part one. When I fire a bullet, I put my heart and soul into it. The bullet to my soul, this shot is the expression of my soul. That's why I never waste bullets. Besides, I'd have to put the extra bullets down as an extra expense, and accounting never likes that. What the heck is that idiot blabbering about? <laughs> hey, don't get mad at me. We have to stop this guy. Okay, so where do we go? Here and then here. I guess this one? Lower this? Okay, you see, dead. We killed him. Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased again. Fate averted. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh, these powers of the dead, why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to the question tonight? Sizzle, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it. I was kidding. Well, I guess we'd better be getting back to the present. Okay, we're going back. Oh, we're here again. Yes, we're here up here. 
Lin has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I'd better go see how she's doing. I guess we open this. And then here, and then open this right now. How do we do this again? I forgot. I'll get there. Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death? But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery though. But that woman holds a key, don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained at Super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to her, uh, to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, let's dial it. Super. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? Okay, so yes, we will end our episode there for today. So we finished chapter 4. Lynn died again. It's only chapter 4 and she died twice already, right? So let's see what happens to her on the next episode as we go back to the Super's office, right? Cabanella is going to be there again. He's kind of, he's very groovy, very lanky guy. And he's kind of suspicious as well, right? We're going to have to see. So we're going to continue this and do more of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.